Hey everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins, and today's topic is an important one. It's about inflammation, and more specifically, how inflammation can be a major cause of lower testosterone levels, which obviously also negatively impacts your mood, your libido, muscle mass, fat, and so on and so forth. And I started this because I got an email from a viewer, and it went basically like this. I've been watching your videos, and I realize I must have some bad inflammation since my joints hurt more and more as I've gotten older. Then I did a blood test and my doctor said how my inflammatory markers are much higher than the test I did two years ago. Of course, he wanted to prescribe me two different drugs. Now, I know better than to argue with him, so I said sure, but I never filled the prescription. Instead, I wanted to do it naturally first and I took your advice and I started taking two fish oil pills daily and four pills of inflame and pain relief product. Now, within a few weeks, my joints felt better, and over the next few months, things continued to improve. My joints, my skin, my hair, mood, lots of positives. However, one thing that pleasantly surprised me is that my libido also started to improve, which was odd, but a welcome benefit. I then did another t blood test six months later, and my inflammatory markers were all much better and lower. But get this, my testosterone was also much higher, almost 130 points. I don't know, maybe that's not much, but I sure do feel better and I feel more driven and manly. So my question is, are the pills doing it or is inflammation causing the testosterone and libido problems? So I get asked this question, I get asked questions lots of times about testosterone, lots and lots of them, but this is the first time someone has actually brought up inflammation and I'm glad they did. Because inflammation causes lots of health and aging problems, as, as I mentioned in the past. In fact, I've got lots of free information below this video in the description area about this topic and about how to reduce inflammation naturally. So make sure you take a look at the end of watching this video. So to get right to it, to the answer to your question, yes, inflammation does cause a decrease in testosterone levels and it's clinically backed. And there are a variety of reasons for this. For example, inflammation causes an increase in stress hormones, as well as inflammatory markers like cytokines and endotoxins and so forth, all of which directly and indirectly decrease testosterone levels and production throughout your body through the pituitary, hypothalamus, testicles, and so forth. Additionally, when you have inflammation, you also tend to have higher body fat and vice versa. Higher body fat also causes inflammation. Now, the more body fat also means higher estrogen levels and higher estrogen levels decrease testosterone. See this vicious cycle? Now, inflammation also causes insulin resistance, as does higher body fat, stress levels, and so forth. And then insulin resistance further decreases testosterone levels and production. Now, what's worse is that testosterone itself is actually anti-inflammatory properties, which is a good thing, which is why you want higher testosterone levels. And as inflammation increases, you have less testosterone. And as you, as you have less testosterone, you then have more inflammation. As you can see, it's like the bad feeds more bad, which causes worse and worse damage in this very negative circle of events. Honestly, it can go on and on, but the point is that everything is interrelated, all right? So, however, to keep today's topic nice and simple, yes, inflammation is bad for you, especially for your testosterone levels, your libido, and mood. This negatively affects men of all ages and women as well, because women also produce testosterone and other hormones. So, the first thing you want to do is obviously you want to live an anti-inflammatory lifestyle, which means proper diet, you know, exercise programs, and stress management. These are all very important. Now, it does take time, it does take effort, persistence, and patience, so please don't give up. However, when we have all these problems and we want to lower inflammation, we want it quick, right? We want it fast, and there are quick ways to lower inflammation, and it's by taking two very healthy supplements that I've mentioned in the past videos, and this person you know, who wrote the email is actually taking them and saw the positive results, and the first is fish oil. Take at least two grams daily, that's 2,000 milligrams. I take more, I take six grams. Now Costco has a good quality one, that's basically taking two to six pills daily. Um, I tell you to spread it out throughout the day, take it with food. 
I also take the actual pure oil. I take it by Now Foods since it's cheaper than the pills. You know, it tastes fine. And I take so many pills as it is during the day. I'd rather just take a teaspoon three, four times a day with my meals. Lastly, make sure you also take Inflame and Pain Relief. Now, this is just an amazing all-in-one formula that attacks both inflammation and pain from multiple pathways, and this is why it's so effective. Uh, and now, since I'm older and I work out a lot, I've got a lot more joint pain and inflammation. I take two pills three times daily. That's a total of six pills. But most people need less. They just need four pills, taking two pills twice a day with food. Now, Inflame and Pain Relief has over a dozen clinically validated and research ingredients, including six patented ones. Like I said, it's basically like five products in one, so it's convenient, easy, and saves you time and money. And I've got direct links to Inflame and Pain Relief in the description area, as well as the other things that I mentioned today. Just taking these two supplements alone will guarantee and promote dramatic improvements in both inflammation, pain reduction, and best of all, optimal youthful hormone levels. Either way, no matter what you do, please do something today to improve and decrease inflammation so you can live a healthier and better life with less pain, better hormones, better longevity, better mind, better gut, all these things that I mentioned that inflammation negatively affects. So as always, thanks for watching. Wishing you a happy and healthy day. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you've learned today and what topics you want me to cover in the future. Of course, if you aren't already subscribed, please do so. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are released. Again, thanks and have a great day.